You look nice. Thank you. Are you doing the curves today? I think so. Is yeah. Grandpa taking you? I hope so. Uh, you need to I talk need to some Grandpa. Stuff. Yeah. I need more cream cheese. I need more powdered sugar because we didn't have any extra bags like we thought we did. Holy cow. Holy moly. How are your chickens today? Oh, my poor babies. Okay, I went out there and there were five silkies and one guinea outside the fence. One silky was inside running back and forth and getting picked on mercilessly. <gasps> By whom? By those pens. They just, anytime it came close to any one of them, they pecked it. Oh, they're so mean. They're so mean. So I herded him over to the gate and let him out with the other ones. And he was so happy. So happy. But where are the other three guineas? Did all the outside chicken chores, looking all around the outside of the fence, listening for them. And I thought, they're gone. They, they would be here with these chickens if they weren't. And went in the chicken coop and they were up in the roost. Too traumatized to even get off the roost. Oh, so, traumatized. Even though there was, there was only one other hen in there and she was on a nest, they still wouldn't get down off the roost. So I chased them out and with the other chickens and they were so happy. Good thing you rescued them. <laughs> I rest so they're all out now. Okay. And well, they're going to stay out all day. And we'll put them in again tonight and try it over again. And that's what we're going to keep doing until it sticks. Until, until it sticks. <laughs> I think somebody needs some attention. My goodness. He oh, heard her wow. voice yeah. and he comes in because he knows that you will love him. Yeah, that's true. I never saw a guy that needed so much love as this one. I know. Uh, you're just like a guy. 14 or 41. Oh, that's true. Hmm. 14's better. That'll never happen again in your whole lifetime. Oh. Okay, well, well, what should we do? Celebrate? You should need to celebrate sometime. Well, what, if I'm, now on your birthday. what okay. if I'm 15 and she's 51? She won't be 51. Oh, darn, it will happen. It will, yeah, it will we'll never happen again. You're 14, I'm 41. And Grandma tells us we need to celebrate. So that's what <laughs> we shall do. Grandma tells us we need to do it. <laughs> you don't need a second invitation nope. for that. No, we love to find reasons to celebrate. We'll go to Yama for sushi. I want to celebrate with you. Oh, well, you're the one that came up with it, so I you guess, should be invited. I guess you're invited. <laughs> We're going to Yama next week. Friday, because Grandma's off. Um, I would have to look at my schedule next week and see what's up. Friday, Friday I have um, a bride and groom that I'm photographing with another photographer as a mentoring session here. So I'm teaching posing and lighting, and it starts at 12.30. Okay. I, can, uh, I can go any day. <laughs> okay, we need to work on math. That's what we're doing. That's what that How is. How do I find this shape? That is a semicircle, which is half of a circle. Yeah, radius. Mm-hmm. Oh, so it would just be pi r. Okay. Mm-hmm, divided by two. Cool. Why divided by two? Because it's only half a circle. It's not a full circle. <laughs> Okay, we're going to find the perimeter of a rectangle. The length of the rectangle is 10 centimeters and the width is 5 centimeters. So this is pretty straightforward. Length 10. Length 10 centimeters, 5 cm wide. Okay, fluffy. Really, I don't need a tail in the face. I'm highly allergic. <laughs> You're a crazy kitty. Look at him. It's the number. Hold up. Whoa. Oh no, I missed the number too. Oh, I'm, oh my gosh. 38. I missed... 38. It's 38. Okay, hold on. Where pi is 3.14159264. Oh, good. I know those numbers. Um, okay, and then. You're going to say. Minimum. You're going to save me a minimum of $250. Yes. Okay. Let's see about this. See these light bulbs that I just happened to have? Yeah. They're, those are cute. Oh, wait. Wait. He's, he's going to make a lighting fixture? They make... You can still buy the original cages that you put on light fixtures that go over these, the wire cages. Yeah. And they're cheap. They're... Like 10 bucks a piece. He's gonna 
build it, Mom. I'm thinking. And for here too. Okay. I need yeah. I need a mock up or a photo or a drawing or something that shows this. No, I'll just buy a couple cages. Like I say, they're ten bucks a piece. Uh, That's cheaper than a mock up. Okay. It just really concerns me when he starts addressing aesthetics. Is that not as as aesthetical as you could ever want? Aesthetical. <laughs> I'm not sure that that's a word. A dead man. That's a dead man? Uh-huh. Before the days of political correctness, it was called a Dutchman. Oh. And that offended the Dutch that somehow? That offended the Dutch. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Or the Dutch? I don't know that it ever offended a Dutchman. Right, but people thought, yeah, but, yeah. You know, it's like you can't call anything. Anything. Anything that yeah. has anything to do you with it. You can't anything. sit Indian style anymore. It's Native American. Oh. Or no, they say crisscross applesauce. Crisscross applesauce. Instead of saying sit Indian style. Yeah, it's crisscross applesauce. But let me ask you something. If the Indians truly sat that way, and that was a style of sitting that Indians did, how is it offensive? How is it offensive to call a sports team after an Indian thing? Yeah, that's an honor. What what's wrong what's wrong with the Braves? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. What's going on here, Ella? Well, we have to get this board up and Grandpa doesn't want to take our thing doing his mechanical lifts thing, so right. we're gonna do it ourselves. Okay. This board has to go up like that one. Right. Up in that That's space. not easy. No, because uh -oh. how do you lift secure, etc. His head almost got. <laughs> he, he got his head stuck yesterday. He got his head stuck. Like it was like like you have to wiggle it out. It's funny. That is pretty <laughs> funny. See, here, I've nailed a scab up there. Yes. For the board to sit on. Yes. Head stuck. <laughs> <laughs> and again. <laughs> My head is stuck. <laughs> then once I get it up like this. Right here? Yeah. Okay. Press it up. Hold it here a second, Ella. That'd be good. In the meantime, while they're working on this, I have this eyeball that will okay. not stop watering. And I don't think it's because of makeup. I think it's an allergy issue, but it's messing up my makeup. And I've taken my allergy pill and I'm not sure what to do about it, but it's gonna mess up these lashes. I am super excited to be on my way to photograph a wedding with my friend Tiffany today. She's the lead photographer, I'm just her assistant, which I love because it is all of the fun and none of the pressure. It's a beautiful day, it's a little bit warm. I'm headed on the other side of the planet, but that's okay. We live far from a few things. No problem. And I'm not sure of the size of the wedding or the wedding party. Tiffany's handling all of that, but I think it's going to be pretty low key. I get that feeling because it's Friday, which is so fun. I love Friday weddings. I always have. I feel like they have a different vibe to them, but also because the coverage is pretty short. It's just four hour coverage. So um, I don't think the bride wanted coverage of the reception, which is great. Uh, because we'll take all these amazing photos and they will celebrate and we'll hit the road. <laughs> wedding, wedding, wedding. I love weddings. I don't like construction, but I love weddings. I made it safely to the Indiana Country Club and I am ridiculously early. But that's okay. I feel like you can never leave enough margin when it comes to weddings. Not only that, but I don't just rely upon my GPS. I always bring, it's over there, I always bring a printed map because what if something happens to the geosynchronous orbit and your GPS doesn't connect? You cannot rely on that to find your way to a wedding. And before I leave, I always eyeball the location on a map and I get it in my brain because praise God, I've been blessed with a good sense of direction and typically I can sort of like map it in my head and find it pretty easily, but I wouldn't rely on that. That would just be stupid. So 
here we are. I'm just waiting for Tiffany to get here. I think she's close by. She's early as well because we're both crazy that way. So if I get a chance, I'll try to take a little bit of video, <clears throat> excuse me, during the sweating. I'm not sure if that'll be possible, but we shall see. With them that in this world they have found each other and that they will now find the deeper meaning and richness of human life in their sharing. No minister, priest, rabbi or public official can truly marry you. Did you happen to notice the guy that was squatted down directly in front of the bride and groom wearing a fluorescent green shirt, shorts, and a ball cap backwards? Might want to rewind and check that out. That was the videographer and he was a very nice guy. He asked both of us, Tiffany and I, where he could position himself so he wouldn't be in the photo. So I explained to him he could stay up front. I mean, that wouldn't matter as long as he moved over a little bit. But he decided that was a good place, so he was in every photo. And I'm not going to say that he made our job impossible because we are professionals, but he made it extraordinarily challenging. Other than that, the wedding was beautiful and everything was fantastic sunset was so pretty the guests were outside by the pool enjoying hors d'oeuvres when we left i'm just grabbing a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on the way home that i packed for myself because sometimes the life of a wedding photographer is indeed that glamorous <laughs> but that's okay it's gonna take me a couple of hours to get home i uh, will be there probably by 9 30 which is perfect <laughs>